Around the world, growers seek ways to get more out of every farming investment. They want innovative and reliable solutions to increase the quality and yield of crops. At Cytozyme, we believe that technology is the answer. Using science to find natural and sustainable methods that help plants achieve their full potential. Cytozyme's proprietary technology helps plants grow stronger and healthier, even under unfavorable conditions. Research and development has been the cornerstone of Cytozyme's growth. Our products work on a molecular level by targeting specific and complex pathways. We maximize expression of natural genetic potential, which is allowing us to help plants in their critical stages of development. In our state-of-the-art labs, we utilize the most recent discoveries in agronomy, plant physiology, molecular biology, and biochemistry to conduct cutting-edge research and develop innovative crop solutions. We deliver scientific expertise to growers worldwide while offering the most advanced technologies to agricultural practices. We respect and utilize feedback from our partners and growers across the globe. For over 40 years, we have pioneered innovative technologies to address diverse market demands and changing climate conditions. The customers love our products. They like the performance, they like the yield increase, they like the um, increases in the quality. They are very excited about using it and very passionate. So we continue to be at the forefront of crop science with insightful, multidisciplinary approaches focusing on the entire life cycle of the plant. From soil and seed through growth, fruit set, maturation, to post-harvest, applying Cytozyme ingenuity at every critical stage of crop development. We focus very hard on the farmer's very specific challenges they have. Our products really support the natural processes of the plant. We have decades of experience. It really makes a difference in the lives of the, of the growers. It helps them with their profitability, helps them with their standard of living, and that's, that's meaningful. Our innovations are enhanced by applying the highest standards of quality to all aspects of product development, production, and distribution. At Cytozyme's headquarters in Salt Lake City, Utah, we have a team committed to operational excellence. We have the most advanced equipment and um, follow um, internationally recognized This allows us to guarantee the highest quality and consistency in each batch of product we manufacture. This team applies rigorous quality assurance processes and multi-point control checks to manufacture products with the highest industry standards to ensure superior performance of our products in the field. Good quality control is essential for delivering a high quality product. We provide the highest quality service and support to our global network of farmers and distributors. Our dedicated team of regional business managers and product development experts located around the world work hand in hand with local growers to address their unique crop production needs. Cytosine was founded 40 years ago by Steve Bauman with the simple goal of improving people's lives worldwide. His vision for creating effective products that can improve plant productivity and quality were never overshadowed by his commitment to environmental stewardship. It is our firm belief that technology is the agricultural tool of tomorrow, the undisputed answer in providing increased food production and nutritional health for a growing population in the most sustainable manner possible. Only through this collaborative spirit will we answer the challenges of our hungry planet while keeping it safe and healthy. Contact us to learn why growers around the world trust Cytosyme. Let us provide you with solutions to your farming challenges. Around
Are you looking at ways to improve the quality of your crop, maximize your yields, and boost your profitability? Cytozyme's MAC technology can help you do just that. Farmers spend billions of dollars every year protecting their crop from pests, fungi, and weeds. Yet only 11% of crop loss is attributed to pest damage. In fact, more crop loss is due to environmental stress like heat, drought, cold, and over-application of pesticides than all other factors combined. Each plant has a predefined genetic potential. However, from the moment a seed touches the ground, environmental stressors start suppressing expression of that potential, causing reduced crop growth, declined plant health, decreased yield, and lower crop quality. At a cellular level, these environmental stressors cause the overproduction of reactive oxygen species, which affects plant cells by damaging membranes and cellular structures that will inhibit the plant's ability to perform basic functions like nutrient uptake and photosynthesis. So, in a world where 65% of potential yield is lost due to environmental stress, farmers need to find the right tools to protect their investment from these elements. MAC technology provides farmers with consistent and effective tools to address these challenges. It is a unique matrix of metabolites obtained through a proprietary process that is delivered through the most advanced formulation technology available in the market today. Our technology works at two levels, by one, immediately delivering a high dose of antioxidants inside the plant that neutralizes reactive oxygen species and two, by boosting the plant's own internal antioxidant production mechanism. MAC technology gives plants the ability to enhance their own defense mechanisms when they need them to respond to harmful stress effects, especially at critical development stages of germination, early growth, bloom, fruit set, and maturation. The result? Healthier, more vibrant plants that are substantially less susceptible to environmental stress and fields that produce healthier crops, bigger yields, and higher profits throughout the growing season. Smart farmers don't get stressed by conditions out of their control. They rely on MAC technology to unleash the plant's power to combat the challenges that cost them the most. Ready to learn more about Cytozyme's soil-to-shelf solutions? Visit us online at Cytozyme.com. All right. Good morning, their ABOs. Uh, good morning, Bong. Yes. Good morning, uh, Paul. Good morning to all our ABOs. Yeah. So today is an exciting event because we have a very special guest, no? Who will uh give us um insights and updates uh about our agriculture products. Uh, technically for focusing only on our nutri plant K and nutri plant zinc. Yes, you're right, Paul. I know. I'm also excited to hear from them. But before we proceed, ano, siguro, ano, let's greet our participants watching yeah. from Zoom and Facebook. Yeah. So, by the way, we are also live on our Facebook uh, page. So, anyone or for our participants in Zoom, you can tag anyone or your uh, downlines or your team. And uh, I think we have here... Ayan. So, uh, this one, Bong, from Ma'am Concordia Camacho. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ma'am. Yeah. And, of course, Ma'am Julia Wang. Uh, good morning, Sir Bong and Sir Apple. Good morning, everyone. I'm watching, uh, I think, some from Mindoro. Too. Palagay na lang po sa participants natin kung saan man kayo ngayon. At least ma-acknowledge and we can shout out you. Ayan. Yeah. Also, uh, one of our speaker, ano, uh, Sir Harry Um. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Right. And here, uh, ito. Yeah, uh, From uh, also bang from our Zoom participants, ma uh, Sir Ray Raisley Cortahe. Good morning, watching from Palawan. Yes, Ayan. Palawan. Of course, Ma'am Luis Arceo from San Andres, Manila. Uh, sabi niya, good day. 
And also from Maria Teresa Jonko, watching from Taguig City. Hello po. Ayan, hello. Also from Nikki Rivera, Ma'am Nikki Rivera, from Arayat, Pampanga. Ayan. Ito bong from uh, Mindanao naman, no? From Jennifer Andiano. Hello, watching from Kidapawan. Ayan, hello, hello Kidapawan. And, and another bong from Davao City, Ma'am Noemi Magdalene. Hello Ayan. po. Ayan, how's Davao today? Ah, Ma'am Noemi. Medyo, medyo maulan kasi yung book, uh, Mindanao today. Ayan. Sabi ni Ma'am Nikki Rivera, maulan na gabi. Ayan, tama. <laughs> so it's raining in sa Pampanga. No? Okay. Sabi ni Ma'am Josephine Avilla, no? from Cebu. Ayan. It is uh, evening. Ano? Siyempre, gabi na. <laughs> uh, sometimes kasi ano, uh, if we conduct uh, training ni Apple, uh, even uh, gabi na, we always greet good morning. <laughs> Para okay. yung energy, di ba? Yes. And uh, also, Bong, uh, from Jennifer also, again, Andiano, so excited na siya sa training. So, yan. So, for this training, no, we have uh, speakers, ex expert speakers. Also, later, uh, meron tayong mga parafol. So, watch out for that, no? Yes. And, Paul, uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, I know everyone is excited to learn from our speaker. Yeah. So, Paul, let me uh, introduce our first speaker. So, today we have uh, Mr. Hari Um Singh, you know, says lead Southeast Asia, Australia and New Zealand. So, we can call him Hari, you no? Know? So, ano naman siya eh? Parang uh, ano na, uh, kasi uh, he, he live also in in Metro Manila, parang ano na rin siya, you no? Know? Parang Pilipino style na rin. So, Harry is an Indian, Indian national working here in the Philippines for the last four years. Harry is a technique commercial, a techno commercial person who did a Master of Philosophy in Horticulture and Research Work on the Effect of Biostimulant on Plant Growth. Uh, that was uh, 2009. So, after that, ano? Uh, uh, Sir Harry have also research work. So Mr. Harry moved to the commercial side of business and marketed agri inputs to various countries and recently took charge of the commercial side of cytosine and verdition business for the Philippines and neighboring countries. So now Mr. Harry will inform us about the recent uh, development in the company. Sir Harry. Hello. Yes, uh, Romeo, thank you very much for, for the welcome. And I also welcome to all of our uh, guests, ABOs, Grover, joining on a different platforms. And I, I really appreciate and thank you time taking and joining this, this event. I also hope that you all are safe because there were uh, you know, some typhoon going around, and I hope everybody is, is safe there. So I can see there are many growers which I met or I saw last time, but there are new all. So welcome to all the growers who have trust, who are associated with us from so many years and and also the new growers who are joining now and hearing this training program first time so uh, thank you everyone you know for joining this and big thanks for amway philippines team for arranging this event right this is a great platform for all of grower to learn as well as uh, you know getting the product in place so uh, going okay there is a hands up maybe we can take the question later my voice is audible uh, ma'am Kamala yeah. uh, are you able to hear us okay yes yes okay. Sir, great 
Okay. Okay, great, great. So the update which uh, I suppose to you is, is two side today. One is for those who are joining this training first time, I will give the company introduction, right? And apart from that, we will also discuss what is the status of current market right now in terms of fertilizer. So there are some positive uh, vibes or positive sides of the trade and price especially because price, uh, you know, impact a lot of agriculture input and our buying. So let's start with the, the company introduction, a quick introduction. I'm just presenting my slide. I hope it will reach. So is it visible for everyone? Yes, 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 sir. Howdy. And great. So this is Verdesian, a company which is based in US and recently acquired a company with you are associated from so many years and the company is Cytozyme. So Cytozyme is now part of Verdesian. So this uh, pro this improvement or this progress happened uh, in March 2021 when Verdesian acquired Cytozyme and by this acquisition, the farmer of Cytozyme will have access to more product and more technologies in the future because Verdesian is having different technologies, which is coming from US to all Asian countries and specifically for Philippines, because business of cytozyme in Philippines is, is very established and association with the grower are very strong. So basically we will touch upon two major technologies today, which Dr. Mike will take you through. So our product has a inclusion of MAC technology, which is a optimization of gene expression into the plant. And second is CPS, crop protection support. So which improve the immunity of plant. So remember these two words, MAC and CPS, and what the benefit they they do in our plant. These are the uh, intro, uh, products which are available in the Philippines. And this is a different country teams of Vardasian. And these are the universities from where the products are coming to you. So the product which you are using here in the Philippines coming from these agriculture universities from USA. And by having this uh, research, it give a great potential to, to fight and prepare for the different challenges of agriculture. And there are different companies which is now merged under Verdesian and become one word easy. So every company like Biogrow, Plant Science, Index, NAP, they are now part of Verdesian, including Cytozyme. So now it's become a bigger company and it can provide you more uh, technology and more solutions. So this is our sustainability goal that we at Verdesian in the bottom have to take care of climate, water quality, and soil. So all products coming from our company are 
designed to take care of the environment safety and our need. So we take care and we recommend work around the four R of nutrition. This says this help us to provide a right product to a right process application of the product to with the right process. So th this include the source means that we provide you the right source or the right product. We suggest you, we guide you for the right rate and we also guide you for the right time. And we also guide you how to apply, how to position. So if these four are taken care, you will get the maximum advantage of your craft. So this is about a company, Itozyme. Uh, it's worth mention here that the company started is 1975. So you can see right now are into 2022. Uh, so it's 47 years. So a company which is servicing the market from last 47 years, it means pillars are so strong. It means the team is so strong. It means products are very good. That's why the establishment is from so many years. So these are the new product coming into the pipeline. And we have a complete range of uh, you know, product with the patent technology. So patented means for trade partner, it's very important. Nobody can copy or replicate those products. And we have in-house team of researchers. So we have, as I mentioned earlier, we have association with agriculture universities. So research from agriculture university come to Vardasian. And apart from this, we have 36 scientists working in the company to enable more solution. These are the different uh, vertical of the company. So company provides you nutrients, major and micronutrients. Then company provide you biostimulants to improve the uh, internal structure, metabolism of the plant. Then we have seed treatment product and inoculants. Later in the last, we have also fertilizer enhancers. These products are not in to the Philippines, very soon we will bring them into the Philippines also. So there are multiple products here with, with us. And this is uh, the customer support we do. So these are the farmer of Canada and UK. So we go them, we meet them, like we meet here with our farmer into the plane. Right now, company doing our business into 33 countries with uh, 300 plus uh, manpower and 1,000 plus product registration. So that that shows the strength of company. So we also have NU universities where our channel partner can learn about the product and they can get the certificate. So it's a free university, online university access for the trade partners. And are our factories into uh, US. So you can see there are six factory in Pasco, Salt Lake, uh, Cap, North Lima, and Land and RTP. So this, these six factories is producing the product which is coming to you. This is our uh, leadership team. Is our, he is our CEO or the head. And it, uh, he is uh, driving now to all of us. And this is our technical team and different regional heads. So our vision is simple. We want to enable the sustainable future for farmer through nutrient use efficiency. 
so we want to utilize each and single drop or granule you use in your farm should give you a better roi and then we do this by developing product and technology that help farmer grow more with less so grow more with less is something you will see in our product uh, application and our product development approach so this is the thing that in in agriculture you will meet you will see so many company but we are different because we don't just promise we guarantee what we say and what we provide you so that vertesian vertesian products or cytosine products they come with the guarantee so thank you for the introduction side and now uh, I, i will come up with the you know some market information as we go into market and understand the fertilizer requirement this year the booking to the company is 20% more than the normal year so you can understand that people are storing or maybe it's a panic buying but the demand the order size is increased this year and in contrary there is shortage of fertilizer is still supply is still not normal the price which earlier hit the roof now start coming down slowly so there is a downtrend in pricing almost 10% is down from what it reached earlier but still fertilizer price is in market is still higher than the last year and slowly slowly it will normalize but remember one thing the fertilizer price the bulk fertilizer price synthetic fertilizer price will not exactly come to the same price point it was earlier but there will be some relaxation in in the future but while you consider amway product the price did not hike at at that uh, position like synthetic fertilizer so thank you amway philippines for you know giving the best price farmer and if any question up to now we can have the question later thank you very much for for listening and thank you very much again for timing up over to you up all right uh, thank you very much uh, sir harry you know that uh, surely very informative uh, introduction of our company so our abios surely learned a lot so now uh, i know our audience and our abios are still uh, excited to learn more so let me introduce our next speaker for the night all right so our fir- our fir- uh, speaker for today is dr mike kennedy so dr mike kennedy receives a phd in plant genetics from the university of carolina davis usa so he worked as a commercial plant breeder focusing on a development of commercial horticultural crop varieties for the major global market so much of uh, his 20 year career has focused on integrating classical and molecular breeding techniques to develop also genetic resources for improvement or improve crop quality. So Dr. Kennedy's research has been published in several high-impact peer-reviewed journals. So in 2015, he joined Cytosime Laboratory as um, Director of Technical Support, focusing on developing strategies for optimizing the expression of crop genetic potential, including the discovery of biological solution to reduce 
the effect of both abiotic and biotic stress in agriculture. So, Cytosome Laboratory was acquired by Verdician uh, Life Science in early 2021. So, Dr. Kennedy is the current uh, director of agronomy focusing on specialty crops. So, without further ado, please join me in welcoming our second speaker, Dr. Mike Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you, Apple Joe. Appreciate it. Um, it's great to be here with everyone. Um, appreciate the time. This is a, this is a great opportunity to, to share some of our findings and talk about some of the, the work that we've done. Um, you know, as, as was said earlier, my name is Mike Kennedy. I'm coming from, um, I'm coming from the Western United States in the state of Utah. So about, oh, about a, a, a two hour flight from Los Angeles, just to the east. And I am located where the factory of, of Cytosine Laboratories is, is, is located. So as, you know, as was introduced earlier, Cytosine was acquired by Berdesian Life Sciences about a year and a half ago. And um, it's great because now we have an expanded portfolio. And as, and as Harry mentioned, hopefully we'll be bringing some of these other technologies um, soon to uh, to um, to you know to Amway, so that we can we can share in the in these you know these these exciting developments. Today we're going to talk about a couple products. Let me share my screen. Um, sorry about that. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Okay, great. All right, so we're going to talk about two main products today. We're going to talk about our NutriPlant Potassium Plus and our NutriPlant Zinc Plus. Both of these, as, as was mentioned earlier, they contain the, the MAC technology, so the metabolically active compounds. And because of the, this is the back, this is kind of the backbone, the background technology of these two products. So because they're, they're, they're powered by this technology, we're gonna get a lot better uptake and a lot better utilization of potassium and zinc in these two products. Um, but just as a little bit of background, let's, let's, let's talk about what, what's going on with these, these technologies. And um, I'm sure you'll have questions and comments, but I think we're gonna we're gonna save those to the end, and um, we can we can we can talk. We have we have plenty of time, so no no worries. Um, so let's make sure. Okay, the next screen. Okay, so as we talk about micronutrients and about macronutrients, macronutrients, we need to recognize that the, the yield and productivity of, of a crop is not determined by all of this, the sum of the nutrients we, we apply, but it's determined by the scarcest element, the, the one that's in shortest supply. And we call this Liebig's law of the mini, minimum. And we can think of it as whatever that, that, min, that, um, that, that nutrient that's in um, shortest supply, it's sort of the weakest link in the chain. Um, micronutrient deficiencies are going to differ dramatically from region to region around the world and you know, different, even within a country, we have microclimates where we're going to get variations in what's needed and what, what is not needed. Um, and one thing that happens in general is we have higher crop yields, that's going to mean more micronutrients are removed. Um, so just by definition, micronutrients are required in small doses, but they have very large macro effects. So micro dosages, but very large, large effects. Um, so, you know, the, the question we often get is why, why do we do foliar applications? So, and I, as I think most of you are aware, the soil environment is a very, very hostile environment. Um, there's lots of lots of things that can limit the crop's ability to uptake and use nutrients. Um, and, and first, that I one a first uh, limiting factor that I want to talk about is, is pH. So you can see in that chart right there, you can see all the different macro and micronutrients, including nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and then as we get into sulfur, 
the other macronutrients, sulfur, calcium, and magnesium, you can see they differ on when they're most available to the crop. You can see N, P, and K. Typically in sulfur, they need that neutral pH um, in order to be most efficient, um, available and efficiently used by the, by the plant. <clears throat> but if we get lower pHs, so more acidic soil, or higher, higher pH, more alkaline soil, they're less available to the crop. Whereas as, as we switch over to calcium and magnesium, they kind of require a higher pH, more of a neutral to alkaline pH. But then a lot of the micronutrients, we need, we need a little bit lower pH. So iron, manganese, boron, copper, zinc, those require, they're more, they're, my, they're more bioavailable to the crop at a lower pH. And even as we get into neutral pH, and uh, molybdenum, that, that one is uh, more aligned with calcium and, mag and magnesium. A higher pH is, is required for them to be utilized by the crop. So I, my point is in this, that there's a lot of uncertainty and variability just in the soil when we soil apply our micronutrients. But on top of that, there's a lot of other factors that um, will determine how efficient how well, well, well utilized the, the, the nutrients are for the crop, including moisture, how much water is in the soil, soil texture, a sandy soil versus a clay soil versus a silty loam soil. This, the micronutri micronutrients and macronutrients are gonna be held um, in different, <coughs> different um, amounts in the soil profile. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of uncertainty, uncertainty there. Um, also depends on the stage of the plant growth because um, this is going to impact the demand uh, for the crop. So there's, there's just, there's lots of, there's lots of factors. So basically we, we apply foliar, make um, foliar applications when we want rapid uptake and translocation of, um, of the, the nutrients to the crop. Of course, there's challenges to this. Wind, temperatures, sometimes we can have phytotoxicity when we, when we over apply. Um, the micronutrients, leaf structure can dramatically impact how efficiently the, the product is, is, is applied to the leaf and, and how, how efficiently it's uptaken by the plant. So there are challenges to fuller applications, okay? But in general, it's a lot more rapid and direct way of applying nutrients to the crop. Um, but as we, as we look into more of the details of factors that influence foliar nutrient applications, um, there's a lot of factors just with the spray formulation that impact how effectively and how efficiently the micronutrient is delivered. Um, molecular size of the, of the micronutrient, the solubility of the, uh, of the, of the nutrient, the, the charge, whether it's a positive, whether it's negative, or whether it's neutral, the pH, the pH is going to dramatically impact how well it, it's translocated within the leaf. Um, surface tension. So as you have more surface tension there, you get that um, you, you get that droplet can either be absorbed efficiently or it cannot be it cannot be absorbed. And a lot of that is is related to the surface tension of the drop, but also how the 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 um, a lot of the leaf properties, <coughs> how the product spreads. Um, this is also very important. So we need to figure out ways that we can add um, adjuvants to the, 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 uh, the, um, the liquid. And as you can see here, if it spreads more, it's gonna be more, rack, um, more efficiently spread and more easily uptaken by the crop. Um, humidity, humidity of the, of the, just of the environment and temperature. So in general, more humid, you're gonna get better, better uptake. You're gonna get less drying of, of, the, of the, the formula. Um, but there's also the leaf properties, the, the, the morphology of the leaf, the leaf shape, the leaf chemistry, whether it's a waxy cuticle, whether, whether it's not, a lot of that's gonna impact how efficiently it's spread. Um, leaf hairs, leaf hairs are gonna break up a lot of that surface tension and allow the this um, allow the droplet to be uh, absorbed into the leaf more efficiently, um, and then there's other factors. The, there's the mobility of the nutrient within the plant. There's stresses. All that influence how how efficiently that that fuller nutrient is applied and 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 received by by the plant. Um, 
once the plant, um, once the, 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 the droplet is applied to the plant, there's still a relatively complicated path to get it inside the plant. You know, as we look at the, as, as we look at the leaf surface, you, on the top surface, you have this waxy cuticle where you have that, that upper, upper epidermis and those me, uh, meso, mesophyll cells, you have xylem and then the, 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 the nutrient needs to pass through all of that. Typically, that's the easier way to get in. But on the bottom, you have a stoma. So the stoma, as we know, that opens and closes depending on the, a lot of the environmental circumstances, whether it, the, the plant needs to transpire or it needs to save uh, resources. So the stomata and the leaf the, uh, below is an easy access and entrance point for the nutrients in, into, the, into the leaf, but they're difficult because they're on the bottom. They're typically for, most, for most, most crops, they're on the bottom of the leaf. So we're limited to penetration of that, that, that upper layer. So, and on that, that upper layer, we have these channels called ecto, ectodesmata. And those um, are really the, the conduits, the channels to get the, the nutrient into the system. And there's a lot of factors that, that within that ectodesmata, within these channels, these micro channels, that determine the success of utilization of the, of, of the uh, nutrient. If it's a neutral charge and it's smaller, a smaller size, in general, that's going to get um, utilized more efficiently. If that molecule, if that nutrient is too big, it's not going to be able to pass through the ectodesmata and then and utilized by the crop. Okay. So, so there's it's quite it's quite complicated as we as we even look into um, foliar application on the leaf surface. Um, so as we dig in more details of the path of nutrient en um, entry into the crop, um, we have to think about the initial penetration, the, and then what happens once it's pen penetrated, and then once it's penetrated, how it's translated through, through, through the leaf and into the system. Um, so we have to look at solubility. As the, as the spray dries, the, the, the higher quantity the, the, or the more dense of the application of the nutrient, the more that actually can actually enter into the leaf. And, and it's actually, as, I, as we were talking about earlier, higher relative, relative humidity is actually a good thing, right? So the longer it takes for the spray to dry, the more time the ion has to enter into the crop. So this is why it's actually better to spray under lower wind conditions, relatively lower temperatures and higher relative um, humidity. Um, and then as we talk about penetration in, in within the leaf, um, we're going we're gonna to get into a little more details, but there are um, there's different factors that tell whether that 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 nutrient is going to go um, uh, penetrate and into that into that waxy cuticle. And that, a lot of that has to do with whether it's a hydrophilic or a hydrophobic um, at the adjuvant that was used. And that determines how readily it's passed in. So we talk about the hygro, hygros capacity of the of the, the ion. Then once it's once it's penetrated in, into that, that upper surface, um, the mobility of that nutrient um, is, 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 is determined by the charge, right? So in general, if we have a, a neutral charge, they're going to, it's going to be translocated a little more efficiently and better, better um, into, into the crop, into the leaf. Okay. So, okay. So let's talk about how nutrients are actually translocated and moved into the leaf. The, the way that nutrients are carried and transported into, into the leaf is through ligands. Ligands are molecules that bind to the leaf, and usually there's at least one or multiple binding sites, and they basically protect the, the nutrient, the metal, the micronutrient, and they help it transport, transport it into the leaf. Um, and as we talk about chelates, chelates are just systems of these, these, these ligands. And essentially, we want that, that there's, there's what we call an activation energy. It's a strength um, of that ligand and what, what, ends up, what it has to happen is eventually the crop has to remove that ligand from the, the nutrient in order to use, utilize it. So we want that bond strength to not, we want it to be strong enough so it's stable so when we apply it, it doesn't dissociate, the ligand doesn't associate from the uh, micronutrient. 
but we don't we don't want it to be so strong where it, where the crop requires a lot of energy to remove it. And um, so we want we want to be more as we look in these this table of of, of different strengths of different uh, different chelation systems. Um, you can see a lot. There's 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 here's a few examples of very strong chelates, EDTA, DTPA, NTA. All of these are synthetic chelates that were were that the the bond is very strong between those ligands and that central metal metal ion. Then on the other end, there, there's very weak weak chelates such as citric acids, um, ascorbic acids. All those are very weak chelates. They're 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 there's benefit to both. The weak chelates aren't very stable as they're applied to the, the plant, but they're utilized very easily. But oftentimes we don't get there. There's dissociation between the micronutrient and the chelate, so it isn't absorbed by the plant. Where we want to be is in that those intermediate chelation strength and those long change, what we call natural organics. The lignosulfonates, those polyflavonoids, amino acids, glutamic acids, all those natural chelations. That's the key to just getting that right, right, that, that perfect kind of happy medium between a nice stable chelation that's that's going to be stably um, applied and absorbed by the plant, but it's not going to require so much energy by the plant to dissociate it and actually use, use the, the micronutrient. So that, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about these natural, these natural chelations, okay? So natural chelation, this is really the key to success. So, you know, we, we talked about synthetic chelates. Um, those are really meant for, for soil application. Um, they're not recommended for foliar application for a couple of reasons. They're too, they're, 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 that, act, that, that dissociation energy is too strong to utilize those micronutrients. And as I mean, we were talking about that ectodesmata, that space in the, in the leaf, um, for the ion to go down, they're too they're too large to be efficiently utilized by to pass through the leaf surface. Natural chelates are have a lot of advantages. They're small molecular weights. They're readily absorbed through that waxy cuticle. Um, they're neutral charged, so they're easily translated translocated in that ectodesmata space and into the phloem. Um, there, these ligands, you know, we can use the example that the plant recognizes these ligands as their own. It's like when you go home after work, you don't have to knock when you when you when you go to your house, when you pull pull into your house, you don't need to knock on that door. You can just go right in because your family inside recognizes you. They're not going to they're not going to they're not going to keep you out because you belong there. And it's the same. It's it's really similar to these natural chelates. These natural chelates are recognized by the plant and they're readily used and absorbed and they bring those micronutrients to the, the crown. Um, so they're readily absorbed and utilized. So if we look at this table here, where we have 50, if we look at how quickly different micronutrient sources are absorbed and utilized by the crop, if you look at salts and oxides, which are those synthetic chelates and or, you know, those, um, they're those the stronger bonds, and then EDTA, you can see it's, it's usually in a matter of many hours or to, uh, up to days when the uh, 50, when the, the majority of the micronutrient is utilized and absorbed and utilized by the crop. Whereas if you look at natural chelates like that we have in, in, in these two products, the Nutriplant Potassium and Plus and Zinc Plus, we're talking a matter of minutes to hours, okay? It's where it, for, the, for the nutrient to be utilized. So in this example here, if we looked in, in the, we, I looked at, we were showing here the example of zinc. So in the leaf concentration, you can see that it, it's more, it's very rapidly utilized and it's very um, efficiently um, utilized, okay? Like as compared to these other um, sources like salts, even amino acids and lignosulfonates, which are, which we, which are a type of long chain, um, um, ligand chelate, chelation systems, they're not as effective as the natural chelates that we have in Nutriplant zinc and Nutriplant potassium. Okay. Um, and 
one of the ways, one of the reasons this is this is so is because we're upregulating very specific genes within the crop. So um, as we as we apply the product, nutrient transport genes are activated very very quickly. So so again going back to the example of zinc, you can see just um, if we compared the, the salt versus EDTA versus lignosilphonate sources of zinc compared to Nutriplant Zinc Plus, you can see the expression of these nutrient transport genes are much higher, 30 to 40 times higher than even the, the highest one of these others. So those, those genes that are up that are increased in activity, they're then ready and available to bring the nutrient into the plant. That second chart on the right there, that's kind of describing how quickly the nutrients are absorbed. So even within, um, within about 15 minutes and up till two hours, that gene expression is maximized. So we're getting very rapid, very, very quickly uptake by the plant. And these, and then when I'm, these, these diagrams down below, it's just kind of showing the cascade within the leaf surface. And you can see within zero to two hours, we see gene expression in that. And that's, that's so this leaf actually has been flipped, right? So that's the stomata and those two, those two cells on the other, either side of that opening are the guard cells. And what we're actually able to do is we're actually able to see gene expression and gene activity in specific cells. So within zero to two hours, we see a, an upregulation of gene expression of these nutrient uptake genes in those guard cells. And then that it's a cascade of responses from two to six hours. We see it in the, in the, in the cell wall, in the apoplast, in those extracellular spaces, and that just is going to bring the nutrient throughout the crop um, and into the plant, into the phloem, and, and just into the system. And then the same thing within, if we look at us at the cellular level, so the same type thing within zero to two hours, we see these nutrient binding and these, these nutrient transport genes are up regulated that bring it within the cell, and then um, within two to six hours, and then even two to 48 hours. It's translated into um, different parts of the cell where it can be efficiently utilized. Okay, so that that's what we're talking about: very rapid, very efficient um, utilization of the nutrients with foliar application. Okay, so let's talk about these two products here: Nutri Nutri NutriPlant Potassium Plus and NutriPlant Zinc Plus. So NutriPlant, we're going to talk about a lot of the base technologies, the core technologies they have, that, that they have in common. And then we're going to get into some details about, the, about each of these products. So basically NutriPlant Potassium Plus is used to, bo to boost plant growth, to improve health and yield during high demand periods of, of potassium use within the crop. NutriPlant Zinc Plus is specifically to help protein synthesis and zinc is critical for activation of very um, important enzymes within the crop. Okay. All right, so let's talk about this MAC technology. So um, in some of the videos, and, and Harry mentioned, when the crop is under stress, we get an overproduction of these reactive oxygen species. And I know there's a lot of business on this slide, but basically during abiotic stress, which um, <coughs> is, is very important, it's more, more than, more than two-thirds of the yield loss of the crop is due to abiotic stress. Under abiotic stress, temperature stress, drought stress, chemical under-application, under chemical over-application, these reactive oxygen species are overproduced. When those reactive oxygen species are overproduced, those are what actually can do damage within the crop. And, and, and I show that there on the right, you can see the membrane, you can see those little red dots, those are showing damage within, within the membrane. They can also damage proteins, they can damage DNA, all that's gonna reduce productivity within, within the crop. What we need to do is we need to balance out those reactive oxygen species. And the way we do that is through antioxidants. So this MAC technology, would MAC stands for metabolically active compounds, those have antioxidants, which help balance out and deactivate those reactive oxygen species. And, but they also have um, the ability to trigger a response within the crop to help the plant produce their own antioxidants, okay? So if we talk about MAC technology, this technology is basically four main parts, fermentation metabolites, 
adjuvants, micronutrients, and then plant extracts. And all four of those parts come together and, and it's, a, it's a synergy of all of those and it's helping deliver these micronutrients, um, potassium and zinc effectively to the crop. Um, but when we talk about these reactive oxygen species, um, and essentially what we're doing is we're looking to reduce those antioxidants. And there's two, mode, two main modes of action. The product, the product itself has antioxidant activity. And like I said earlier, it, it drives gene upregulation, which helps the plant produce its own antioxidants. So all that is gonna help, um, help the plant overcome stress and ultimately increase, increase productivity and increase yield. So that, that's, <clears throat> that's a main part of both of these products of the NutriPlant Potassium, as well as NutriPlant Zinc. Okay, all right, so let's talk a little bit about NutriPlant Potassium. There's the label. Um, it's a 25% uh, potassium product. It's a liquid foliar based product. And you can see a little bit about the application rates and we can, we can you know, I can help answer any questions about rates and about timing. But it's um, you know it's a it's a it's a very concentrated effective product. Okay, so let's talk about potassium a little bit. What does potassium do? So if we look at within the crop, potassium deficiencies are very very they're very detrimental and they, and they impact yield and quality of a lot of the crops that are in the Philippines as well as all of Southeast Asia. Um, Plant growth reduction is due to a, a lack of what we would call um, osmocotum or cell, cell pressure regulation. So potassium is very important in helping maintain um, turgid cells. So without that potassium, we can't get the proper water balance, okay? Because water typically follows a, 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 um, a concentration gradient or osmotic gradient within, within the cells. Without potassium in the cells, we're not going to maintain that without water pressure. Okay. Um, also, in, it's important for um, sugar balance, and it's going to without it, it's going to inhibit protein synthesis. It's going to suppress photosynthesis, and it most importantly, it diminishes long distance transport within the crops. So as photosynthates are produced within leaves, it's without potassium there we can't get efficient translocation to the fruit and to other parts of the, of, of the plant. Um, it's, also, it's also gonna, potassium deficiency is gonna set up the plant for increased susceptibility to disease. So there's lots of instances, lots of situations where potassium deficiencies can occur. Um, sandy soils, leached organic soils, cold soils, where we have excessive water, excessive rain, also compact soils, um, wet soils with often where we have anaerobic conditions where we have reduced oxygen content, that's also gonna create situations where you have um, reduced pota um, potassium availability, but also dry soils with your, where you're gonna get just your, both of these too wet or too dry, both of those are gonna result in reduced potassium within the crop. Um, so what are some of the, so what, what can you actually see within the crop? What, what are some symptoms or signs of potassium deficiency? A lot of times you'll see that leaf distortion, that leaf curling. You'll see the margins burning. You'll see a lot of the discoloration of the, and the leaf on the, out, on the outer edge of the, the leaf. Um, you'll get premature drop of older foliage. And because there's a, there, there's a reduction of um, of photosynthates that are translocated, like we talked about earlier, potassium is important for translocation of nutrients from the roots to the rest of the, of the, of the plant, including the roots. We get poor root system development. So oftentimes in crops where you see lodging, like in like this example that I show there with rice, um, that's because of a potassium deficiency, okay? Um, so NutriPlant Potassium Plus is designed to remedy all of that. Um, it's designed to help with water management and to really impact those metabolic processes within the plant cell. This is all gonna lead to higher yields and improved quality, okay? So as we talked about earlier, 
potassium, that, that osmotic um, pr um, potential is critical, okay? So potassium supports osmotic functions. We need that, we need that, that proper cell um, turgor. A lot of that's critical for the stomatas to open and close properly. So neutral plant potassium um, plus applied during, during critical developmental stages helps the growth and helps the, the strengthen the cell during those, those critical development stages. Um, potassium supports the metabolic processes through um, optimizing energy in the plant. Um, like we meant, like I mentioned earlier, potassium is critical, absolutely critical for several um, key enzymes within the crop that support protein synthesis, photosynthesis, energy accumulation. Um, so we need that, we need that optimal concentration of potassium that helps with carbon dioxide fixation. Um, that's gonna increase, um, you know, it's gonna increase all the, 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 the processes, including respiration, and it's gonna improve the energy status within the plant. So this is why neutral plant potassium plus contributes to higher yields and improved quality. And then, like I said earlier, we need this, we need potassium for efficient translocation of sugars within the, in the plant. So sugars are, are produced in the leaves and then it needs, it needs to be translocated to the developing fruit, seeds, and even the roots. Um, so, you know, we talk about source sink um, of carbohydrates within, within the crop. Potassium is critical for this. Neutral plant potassium plus um, applied during those key development, developmental stages when photosynthates, when, when carbohydrate, carbo, carbohydrates are um, um, produced in, uh, you know, in high quantities, that's needed because it's, we're gonna translocate a lot of those to fruit for, for efficient color and sugar development in those storage organs, okay? So that, that's basically a rundown of, of neutral plant potassium plus. Let's look at some trial results, okay? So this is a, this is a trial um, in, in, in actually in Central, in Central America in Guatemala, where we applied neutral plant potassium plus on rice. And we did a single application at bloom. And we also did some other, some other um, neutral plant applications of neutral plant AG, which is important, which is a, which is a um, help with um, overcoming abiotic stress, but also neutral plant zinc and NPK plus. All those factored together, in this trial, we saw a 25% yield increase. Um, the, but the neutral plant potassium plus at, <coughs> applied at bloom was critical for that. Okay. Sorry, I didn't I didn't advance the slides, did I? I apologize. So there's that trial. The next, the next, the, this this next trial is on sugarcane. So sugarcane in this trial, this was a this was in a five year old commercial sugarcane plantation. This was also done in Central America. Um, so sugar sugarcane, um, so neutral plant potassium plus um, was applied along with with boron and, and uh, magnesium. We saw a um, an increase in cane yield of just under eight percent of seven point six percent. But we also saw an increase, increase of sugar content and sugar yield. So you can see we're getting a more efficient translocation of all of those carbohydrates of all of all those with nutrient plant potassium plus. Okay. So if I can advance the slide here. So I apologize about that last one. This next trial is um, on, on melon. And what we saw here with application. Um, of neutral plant potassium plus at the beginning of color, the color um, stage, the coloring stage, we saw an increase in quality of, of those grade A fruit, okay? We saw an increase um, of grade A cantaloupe of melon of about 27% and the total yield of about, of about 17, about 17, almost 18%. So we're seeing an increase in yield but also we're seeing an increase in quality, okay? Okay, just in general. So what we're seeing is we're improving crop quality, we're improving, um, we're reducing that lodging because um, we're getting more efficient translocation of photosynthates to the leaves. We're getting healthier plants. 
better. And when you have a healthier plant, you're going to have less disease and insect susceptibility. And all that is going to result in higher yields and higher productivity. So that is NutriPlant Potassium Plus. Let's move on to NutriPlant Zinc Plus. Okay. NutriPlant Zinc Plus, as you can see in the label, is an 8% zinc foliar product. And it's also very concentrated. Application rates are very, very low. Um, but it's a, it's just a, it's a, it's also, it's a, it's a great product. Okay. So if we talk about, we talk about zinc. Zinc is a very important um, micronutrient. A study done by the FAO determined that zinc was the most commonly deficient micronutrient globally in global soils. And um, they also did studies on um, 190 field trials in 15 countries, so globally, and they found that zinc was deficient in about half, in about 50% of those trials. Um, so globally, about half of our soils are zinc deficient, um, including rice. So about two thirds of rice grown globally is on flooded paddy soils, where zinc availability is very, very low. Um, so, so we we need to think about what we what we can do to supplement zinc in the in, in the plant. Um, on top of that, zinc availability is very low, especially in wheat fields that are because of alkaline. So, if you remember that chart that I showed at the beginning, zinc is not available, very available at higher pH soils. Um, so, if we look at some of the, the zinc deficiencies in, in, within the crop. Some of, the, some of the telltale signs include stunted growth, um, small malformed or yellowing or, or these mottled leaves. In grasses, we often see striping. Um, we see twig dieback in tree species. Um, we see just reduced fruit size and even reduced fruit set. And we just, it just is a lot more susceptible to, to disease and distress. Um, and as we talked about before, there are soil conditions that are particularly, that set up the crop particular to, to zinc deficiencies. Alkaline soils, so higher pH soils, zinc is very limiting. Cold, wet soils, especially in the early season, zinc is deficient. Um, soils very high in phosphorus, that ties up zinc, so it's not, a, not very a bio, bioavailable to the crop. And also sandy soils with less um, native zinc, and higher and higher and organic matter, that's also going to going to have um, gonna limit availability of zinc to the crop. And then peat or muck soils with a very high water table and higher pH, that also very very limiting limiting to um, availability of zinc within the crop. Um, so what what does zinc do? Zinc is critical to help with proper plant growth and um, production because it supports protein synthesis and it activates important enzymes. So if we look at three different levels, let's look at the molecular level, the cellular level, and then the plant level. At the molecular level, zinc is gonna stabilize RNA and DNA structure. It's critical in controlling gene expression. So zinc is important, it's, a, it's what we call a cofactor that helps as, um, as um, tr as mRNA is produced, as as these as DNA is trans as is uh, converted into proteins, um, it's, zinc is important. It's a, it's an important part of um, gene ex of gene expression. Um, it's going to optimize protein synthesis. It's going to regulate hormone synthesis, and it's also critical for sugar formation. So that's at the molecular level. At the cellular level, it's critical. Um, for helping the plant defend itself against these reactive oxygen species that arise during stress. Um, it helps the, the uh, membrane lipids and proteins protect themselves against oxidation. It also helps protect um, chlorophyll and enzymes. And it's involved in, in promoting um, cell mem membrane integrity. And then if we just zoom out at the plant level, it, um, zinc promotes seedling vigor, it helps defend the crop against biotic and abiotic stress. It's key for internode elongation. Um, it's important for pollen formation. So a lot of that early, those early stages 
of crop development. Um, it's important for um, the plant's ability to uptake water and it helps regulate against, it helps buffer against high saline and temperatures. It promotes grain formation and it just, it, it helps um, with uh, uh, plant maturity and it ultimately it helps with uh, quality and yield, okay? So if we look, let's look at, let's look at NutriPlant Zinc Plus. So as I said earlier, NutriPlant Zinc Plus is, you know, we, and we talked about all these ways that the natural chelation, these products are very efficiently used within the crop. So if we look at a couple examples, let's look at in rice and in citrus. Um, if you look at rice at a couple points along the developmental stage, biomass of rice at 148, 140 days, it's about 4,000 kilograms per hectare. And then it grows dramatically at 180 days in those 40 days, it goes to 12,000 kilograms per hectare. Within the crop, zinc concentration is at anywhere between 18 and 50 ppm. So if you do the, do the math, do the calculation, <clears throat> at 140 days after sowing in rice or after transplant, the, 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 the amount of zinc that's required is anywhere between 72 and 200 grams per hectare. And then if you look 40 days later, it's the, the, the zinc demand is even higher. It's all the way up to 600 grams per hectare is required. One application of, of NutriPlant Zinc Plus at 500, at half a liter per hectare is going to supply 77 grams per hectare of zinc. So a single application um, is going to apply, is, is going to supply a, a, almost what exactly is needed for, um, it's going to between 36 and 109% of what is needed for zinc at day 140. Okay, and if we do three applications, it's going to um, it's going to supply even more. So what the, the the point of this exercise is that very low application rates are going to supply are going to supply all the zinc requirements for the crop. Um, and it's the same thing in citrus. If we go through this example, the total biomass is just under two thousand kg per hectare. Concentration within the link is anywhere between 25 and 100 parts per million. The required zinc is anywhere between 43 and 171 grams per hectare. If we apply it at 500 milliliters per hectare, um, we're applying 77 grams. And that single application is nearly, a, nearly supplying all the zinc demands for the crop. And it's the same thing in other crops in soybean, corn, wheat, and same thing in all other crops. One application of Nutriplan Zinc Plus is going to supply nearly the full demand of zinc within the crop. So here's an example of we did it. We did a trial of Nutriplan Zinc Plus, which is our natural chelation. We looked, and then we looked at. Um, it compared to zinc sulfate, a single application, and then zinc EDTA, EDTA chelation, one application and two applications. So you can see the calculation there, the amount of, of applied zinc that was put on. And then what, what we show there is the, uh, the impact, the effect of on the, on the, on the final yield. So you can see with a single application of zinc, zinc sulfate, we only got about a 3% yield increase. And then the same thing with zinc EDTA. In fact, we got a worse, lower yield with two applications of zinc EDTA versus a single application. Um, whereas with, this, with the Nutriplan Zinc Plus, you can see we've got anywhere between a 15 and 17% yield increase. So it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot more uh, efficiently used um, and we get just a lot, a lot better results, a lot higher yield response, okay? So let's look, let's look at some more trials. Um, this is another rice trial and we did, we, uh, we applied NutriPlan Zinc Plus along with NutriPlan AG 
at the beginning of tillering. And then we um, we also did a second application of neutrophilant AG with neutrophilant NPK at um, head formation. And then we we saw and then and then, and then another application neutrophilant potassium plus when five percent of the heads are formed. And with that program, we saw a twenty seven percent yield increase in zinc. So not really nice increase in yield. Here's another trial on sugarcane. So. <clears throat> neutrophilant zinc, along with neutrophilant AG and, and, and um, neutrophilant boron, were applied when the crop was quite small, 50 to 55 centimeters. And then we did more applications of neutrophilant AG with boron and NPK 15 days later. And we saw a 20% a 20 yield increase in this trial in, zinc, in, uh, in uh, sugar cane. Here's another trial in cotton. And I apologize. For that some of this, this writing didn't come out okay. But we um, neutrophilant zinc, followed by neutrophilant AG with and boron, followed by neutrophilant um, calcium boron and, and, and boron with AG and then potassium. We saw a 27% yield increase in cotton. And here's a, here's a trial in, in uh, coffee um, where neutrophilant zinc was also applied with calcium and boron and then more boron and calcium and copper, we saw almost a 13% yield increase in, in uh, coffee. So just in summary, Nutriplant Zinc Plus, the benefits, it, it supports better absorption and translocation of zinc. It promotes protein synthesis. It helps with enzyme activation. And all this is, is going to result in improved productivity and improved yield. So that's it, that's, that's the wrap up here. So these two products, these, these two very um, effective products, um, Nutriplant Potassium Plus is gonna help boost plant growth, health, yield, and especially during those high demand periods when potassium is, is required by the crop. Nutriplant Zinc Plus is gonna support protein synthesis and activate um, crucial enzymes during, during the way. Um, but with that, I'd, I'd like to thank you for your time appreciate you allowing me to spend some time with you to talk about these products. And um, yeah, happy to happy to, to, to have a conversation and talk about any of these products um, as I can. But I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for that uh, insightful discussion, Dr. Mike. So uh, I know our AVOs learn a lot from you. So Apple, do we have a question right now on the chat box? Um, we highly encourage everyone. No, if you have questions, you can uh, put it on the chat box so so that uh, maybe Doctor Mike and uh, Harry will answer those inquiries. But I think uh, yeah. So we will ano na lang bong, wait for some questions. But before uh, we um questions on the chat box dr mike uh, this is this question is uh, uh, much asked uh, during my trainings here in our in my area so uh, the question is does um nutri plant or does foliar potassium is more effective and efficient than uh, a granular potassium fertilizer yeah exact that's exactly the point so Foliar potassium is going to be used immediately by the plant. Um, it's going to be more effectively used by 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 the plant. Um, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be. So if we have granular potassium, a lot of that is going to be dependent on the soil conditions, how efficiently it's uptaken by the plant. Um, foliar applications, it doesn't matter. The, the, the soil conditions don't really matter. So it's just a lot more efficiently utilized. And, and, and typically, doses of foliar applications are much smaller because it's more just completely utilized by the crop. All right, thank you for that, Dr. Mike. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Apple, for that question. You know. um, Dr. Mike, uh, we have also a question here. You, know. uh, um, you mentioned a while ago that the uh, MAC technology is composed of fermentation metabolites. 
natural adjuvants, natural uh, naturally chelated complex micronutrient, and plant extract. So the question is, how how can we compare mac technology to uh, uh, what we call organic fertilizer? Or, or they, they claim sometimes that the uh, that, that, that liquid uh, organic fertilizer. Yeah, so the MAC technology um, is really helping combat abiotic stress. So the MAC technology, um, so, under, when the, so there's no such thing as a perfect situation, growing situation. There's always going to be stress within the crop, whether that's temperature conditions, whether that's drought conditions. Um, whether it's even with application of, of agrochemical like herbicides, fungicides, all of those put the crop under stress, a tremendous amount of stress. So the MAC technology, which is part of the package for NutriPlant Potassium Plus and NutriPlant Zinc Plus is gonna help reduce the stress because what happens during stress is you get an increased um, production of those oxygen containing compounds, those reactive oxygen species. So the MAC technology deactivates those reactive oxygen species. Um, unlike, you know, these other, these, other, these other products that don't have that ability, they have organic matter that help, you know, they, they help with uh, supplement nutritionally from the plant. They, they supply carbon, they supply, you know, different nutrients, but they don't deal with the 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 real problem is with these these reactive oxygen species. So that's why it's this this technology is, is so groundbreaking because it helps the plant um, overcome stress. So it's it helps so NutriPlant Potassium Plus and NutriPlant Zinc Plus have two main parts. They have the MAC technology, which is going to help the plant overcome stress, but they also um, have the the their their nutrients naturally chelated so they're very efficiently utilized and absorbed by the plant so it's sort of a it's sort of a two in one two in one package if that makes sense okay thank you for that uh, uh, answer sir mike yeah so we have uh, other question here from chat box uh, i think this comes from roberto Cruz. Does the soil test that Filipinos do reveal if the soil lacks potassium or zinc? I'm sorry, can you, can you repeat the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this pertains to the uh, uh, soil uh, test. Uh, does the soil test that Filipinos do reveal if the soil lacks potassium or zinc? Yeah, they should. It, it, they should be able to test for it. Um, but also you can just you let me let me go sorry let me go back to let me go back let me go back to my uh, one of the earlier slides um so this this right here this slide right here is you can already tell, depending on the conditions, you can already tell what is going to be limiting. Um, so during, if you, if you you can simply you can test for you can test for potassium and test for zinc, but if you have acidic soil or alkaline soil, um, or sorry, if you have acidic soil, you're probably going to be your availability of potassium is going to be limiting. And the same thing if you have very alkaline soil, more than likely your zinc is going to be limiting. Um, it's going to be not, not, not going to be available. Also, strongly acidic soil is also zinc's going to be um, limiting. Um, but also, if you have um, if you have too much, too much water and the temperatures, that's also for both of those nutrients, it's going to be limiting the the uh the, the availability but on top of that yeah you can test for specifically for potassium and zinc no that, that's not a that's not a problem All right, and i'm sure it's you. available in the philippines yeah thank you dr mike and uh just to add the question earlier about potassium so 
can we recommend to farmers to use NutriPlant K to replace their granular potassium? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend it to replace it. I would still do your normal nutritional application. What these are meant is to supplement, to complement normal applications. So um, the problem is with soil application of potassium as well as zinc, depending on the soil conditions, depending on temperature, depending on pH, it may or may not be available. So I would still do soil applications of these products, but the foliar application is, is gonna, is gonna, is gonna complement that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Yeah. So... Yes, uh, another question here, no? From uh, Ms. May Recto, no? Uh, what, uh, what would you recommend with crops affected by typhoons? <laughs> because we have uh, just a typhoon earlier. Uh, the crops are not totally destroyed, but somehow these crops have damage. So he, he just want to uh, ask uh, a tip you know, on how to maximize uh, her, her harvest you know, for the crops affected by typhoon. So any, yeah, so, any tip? Yeah, I, yeah that's, that's very difficult when we, see, when we see crops that are damaged by strong winds, flooding. Um, what we have to do is we have to help the plant recover um, as quick as as much as possible. So I would I would recommend all of the all of the Amway products. I would recommend NutriPlant AG. Because AG is going to help. AG is ha, has a very very broad base of micronutrients as well as the the stress mitigation. So it's going to help the plant recover. <clears throat> but I would also um, I would also apply these other foliar micronutrients like NutriPlant Potassium Plus, Zinc Plus. Um, all these other ones, Nutriplant MPK, all of these are going to help the plant recover quickly. Um, so I think this is, especially after typhoons, where foliar application is going to be very, very important because we need we need to get nutrients to the plant as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Mike. So we have also a question from uh, Facebook Live. I'm not sure. Uh, from uh, member G Dangat Silvestri. Uh, he, she is asking, what would recommend for fruit bearing trees like mangoes for our nutri plant? Um, I would need to, I'm not sure, I need to look at the label, um, what the application rates are, but typically for potassium, um, we recommend for most most trees, we recommend potassium right at color change because that's going to help with that with that sugar translocation, and it's going to help help with that color color formation. Most zinc applications are are earlier on. Um, application rates are typically about half a liter per hectare. Um, Harry, maybe you do you have the the label for for specific ap application rates for mango? I don't know if Harry can hear me. If we don't have that, I can I can get back. I, I I'm happy to get back and look at specific recommendations for mango. Would that would that be okay? I'll I'll note that and get and get back to. Yeah yeah sure 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 Mike. Yeah, uh, let's do that. And uh, I think Bong, we have another question from Studio Matthew. So when we are. Uh, when we are going to apply potassium and zinc, what is the correct timing of application, especially in rice? Yeah, let, let's let, let's look at the label. I'll show you. I'll show you the label. Um, yeah. So for timing for rice, for potassium, is that typically it's. Uh, there's a dilution rate, it's 100 ml for 16 liters of water, or it's, a, it's about 500 milliliters per hectare. 
in typical application timing or uh, early flowering. So about 50 to 60 days after trans, uh, um, trans, transplant. So a single application, that's for Nutriplant Potassium Plus. And then if we go to Zinc Plus, um, it's about the same application rates and um, at tillering at, at about two, two to three weeks after, after planting. All right, thank you, Dr. Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So do we have uh, still a question going on on the chat? Well, uh, well a question of Sir Ray Lee. So why is it that zinc and potassium is more pricey than Nutriplant AG and NPK? So I think, uh, Bong, do you have any input on this? Um, so the opinion of Sir Mike. <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're critical, they're essential nutrients. And the, really the, because the application rates are so low and there's only a single application, um, it's, a, it's a much more expensive product to produce. The cost of goods of both of these products is very, is very high with that Mac technology and then with it, with the yeah, nutritional part, um, they're, 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 they're premium products where a single application is, is, is required. So even though the, the price is high, the application, the dose is very small. So it's a little, a little bit goes a long way. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Sir, Mike, uh, Paul, can you unmute, uh, sir, Harry? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, you can unmute we, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, another question here. No? Uh, in the lecture, it shows higher sugar, uh, sugar yields for sugar cane. Will this also mean higher sugar content for mangoes, meaning sweeter fruits? We use uh, potassium. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We've, we've, we've seen that in all crops. I've seen that with our, with, with our potassium products. Um, in the, in the U S we, we apply the uh, Nutriplant potassium plus in table grapes, in apples, in cherries, in peaches, in all crops, right about the timing of fruit color change. So it helps with ba basically one of the things that potassium is doing is it's helping with, um, <clears throat> the, the coloring compounds, anthocyanins, a lot of those secondary metabolites. So you're getting improved color formation, but you're also getting better. You're getting better sugar, um, better, better sugar concentration within the crop. So yeah, I would say with all crops, you're getting better, sweeter produce, sweeter, sweeter, better, higher quality. Thank you, sir Mike. Uh, well, I think uh, Sir Harry is already uh, on me. Sir, Sir Harry. Uh, any and uh, Sherry. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Actually, there was a connection signal problem at my side, and yeah. So I I heard one question re related to the the dodge of zinc, uh, or it, it was uh, about another product. So if it is zinc or or uh, another product for that matter. So the formulation of our product is, is done such a way that 0 0.1 to 0.5% of solution is, is, is fine to, to apply. And uh, generally the mango farmer, if you are asking me, they are using 250 ml, 200 ml to 250 ml per drum of 200 liter. So that's that's the dose they are they are using for uh, you know uh, these product, but it it depends on what time you are using. Like if it is a fruit setting, the higher dose is is it, 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 it helps to produce and retain more fruit. 
but if it is uh, before flowering stage, then uh, we recommend to use the lower doses for mango specially. And uh, I was not able to hear other questions. So if anything uh, related to that, you can repeat it. Okay, thank you for that uh, answer, uh, Sir Harry. Uh, one thing, uh, one question is, uh, uh, why is it that Nutri Plant Sink has 4% N? And it shows in the label, it's only, it appears only 8% zinc, but if you look at the other side, there is a, a Nutri Plant, uh, no, there is a nitrogen 4%. Uh, How's that, sir, sir yeah. Mike? So, uh, go ahead, can, go can ahead, you repeat Eric. it? Yeah, yeah. Can you repeat? Uh, we are just wondering, uh, Sir Harry, you know, our Nutri Plant Sink, uh, Composed of eight percent zinc, uh, but there is a uh, four percent uh, nitrogen. Yes, yes. Actually, we have uh, zinc in two formulation. One formulation zinc comes with nitrogen. In one formulation, zinc come uh, come with sulfur, and the end. I mean, the support point or the, in terms of the contribution, the sulfur and nitrogen both help in, you know, uh, photosynthesis. They both help to do a, in a newer growth or, or plant growth or bringing greenery in, in, in that matter. So this is some, uh, it is not open in the, in the label that it has a zinc also like uh, this product also have a support of seaweed which is a biostimulation which has a mac technology that is also not prioritized on the fascia of label but it has it has additional benefit over to you joe romeo thank you sir harry You're on mute, Bong. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, why is that pot, pot uh, uh, what they call it, potassium, does not have uh, nitrogen or something shown for, what is it, that only zinc has it? Sorry, can you, can you repeat it? Sorry, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. getting. A uh, while ago, we are wondering it's, that it's, zinc has 4% nitrogen. Why potassium uh, has that yeah. not uh, 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 <laughs> nitrogen or something so for? Yeah, actually, this is about the stability of formulation. Few product can stabilize with another product, or few product. I mean, if you want to stabilize multiple nutrient in one product, then you have to switch the concentration and the percentage. For example, if you want to have multiple nutrient in one product, then the percentage you have to compromise, then the percentage of nutrient will be like 0.5% nitrogen, 0.3% uh, potassium and molybdenum and that, because that's how we can stable multiple nutrient in one bottle. So, it's it certainly depend on the percentage uh, we are targeting because these these product are targeted based on the plant uh, requirement and the grower uh, requirement also so based on that this formulation happened and you see few product has multiple product there are product in our uh, series of uh, nutrient which has six nutrient, seven nutrient, and many are so low. So it depends. It depends. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Harry, for that clarification. Now, this question has come from uh, Sir Alan uh, Jonora. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, just an observation. Looks like zinc has similar effect on human and plants. On human, zinc is essential for enhanced immunity. On plants, zinc helps in fighting abiotic stress. No wonder zinc is considered an essential nutrient. Exactly. Uh, a a very catchy point here. Yeah. And, you know, uh, the deficiency of zinc is actually correlated or connected to the deficiency of zinc in the human. So, it, in many countries, especially for wheat, because in Europe uh, and in, in, in other countries where wheat consumptions are more than the rice, and even in, in rice uh, eating countries, uh, both way application of zinc is, is recommended to improve the nutrient percentage inside the grain. So earlier, our aim, the basically the most most grower aim is to improve the grain yield, means the weight. But in in developed country, the price of produce comes based on the nutrient content you have inside your grain or your rice or even in tomato, like in US. In US, uh, there are multiple companies who grow tomatoes and these tomatoes if it is coming from our product or some other company branded product grown by using those products they have higher price and in in india we are doing campaign on apple so we are giving multi mineral product on apple so the apple uh, shape color taste and the nutrient content is verified and proved in the result. So we are selling Apple there with the Cytogyme Verdesian logo, and we are ensuring that the Apple you are eating, it has certain percentage higher nutrient. So that is something, this is a new trend coming in the market, and it is very much essential for human health because, uh, Average we are feeding to the crop is coming back to us, whether it is good or not so good. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you, Sir Harry. Paul, do we have uh, another question? Yeah. Uh, from Rolando Altimeras. Actually, this question is not uh, part of the discussion for our products like potassium zinc. So, Question of Sir Rolando, why does the fertilizer grade of NP, Nutri Plant NPK is smaller than the traditional granular fertilizer? Uh, Dr. Mike, we have granular fertilizer 14, 14, 14 available in the Philippines. So that's uh, the question of Sir Rolando. Why is it that our Nutri Plant NPK has 4, 18, 18? Well, it doesn't have to, like we were talking about earlier, because it's a foliar applied product. It doesn't require, it doesn't have to be quite as high as the soil product because it's more efficiently used. So we can we can take down those, those percentages of N, P, and K and have it be even better, more efficiently used in that 14, 14, 14. That's that's soil that's that's soil applied. Yeah. Thank you for that, Dr. Uh, Mike. Yes. Yeah, no worries. So basically, yeah, just just more addition to what Dr. Mike added on this, that uh, the bulk fertilizer which we use, we generally use on higher percentage and in higher quantity, because definitely NPK are the primary element required in higher quantity. But if you see in our product, the percentage is not as the bulk. And even the doses are minor, not like a six bag or something. We, we promote like a, a one liter per hectare or 750 ml per hectare. So uh, it's, not, it's not the nitrogen we have inside the Nutriplan AG or NPK. Actually, it is related to the MAC technology, which you are able to trigger in your plant through application of this. So by helping 
by applying this the plant now able to utilize what bulk fertilizer you have applied in the soil for example if you applied bulk fertilizer there so if the metabolism of plant is not good if plant is not hungry properly it will not eat the nutrient you gave so uh, in comparison what it give directly to the leaves it help to absorb what is there in the root so the result are still very satisfactory and amazing even though it is very very minimum quantity in per hectare if you compare with the bulk fertilizer thank you over to you thank you sir harry and i think that that is the last question in our chat box poll no so now uh, it's getting late but it is getting more exciting because our next session is the raffle draw so i think before we go on to raffle draw uh, i would like to uh, you know thank uh, dr mike kennedy for that uh, very insightful discussion also with uh, sir harry you know for that uh, wonderful sharing to us you know thank you very much you're welcome so uh, again no thank you very much dr mike and sir harry for that uh, discussion so i think bong we can proceed with our raffle so i think uh, everyone's excited for the raffle so now uh, let's begin so i know uh, uh, we have the registration earlier upon entering our uh, meeting. So by the way, Bong, uh, let me just share the mechanics for our raffle. All right. Ayan. So, um, so how to claim your prize if uh, kayo po ay na, nanalo sa raffle natin? So, pwede kayong mag-email or email the following to Amway Events Team at Amway.com with the subject Agricapihan Q3 Winner. So, ano yung uh, email natin or send natin? Yung screenshot of your name and then full name, complete address, and contact number. And then also for non-cash, yun. Same din po yung uh, gagawin natin. So, we have five winners for 200 Gcash credit and we have five winners with 1,000 Amway coupon. So, Yan, excited na ba? Uh, I think, Paul, before we proceed to uh, the raffle, uh, yeah. I think there is a, uh, ano, uh, Last. what do you call this, update from Ms. Tess regarding on Agri uh, updates. So may we call on Ms. Tess for the you know, uh, Agri updates. Hi, Ms. Tess. Hi, Ms. Tess. Can proceed, Mr. Tess. Uh, I think uh, Paul naka naka mute si Mr. Tess. Okay, unmute naman. Yeah, you can unmute, Ms. Tess. Ayan. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Good evening once again, everyone. So I hope I'm clear now. So we would like to thank you all for joining us once again in our uh, third leg of uh, the Agri Kapihan webinar. I hope you've enjoyed and learned a lot from our um, hosts today. So we would like to um, show our gratitude also to our speakers uh, from Verdition Life Sciences, see Harry and also Dr. Mike. Thank you so much for um, joining us tonight for sharing your learnings related to our products, NutriPlant uh, Potassium and NutriPlant Zinc. So now, uh, please, please mark your calendar for our last leg of the AgriCapihan webinar. It's going to be in December 13, 2022. So please uh, spread the news and invite po 
your family, your friends, and even po your business partners po uh, in this event. So um, lastly po siguro kasi eh, we still have 15 minutes po. I just wanted to share with you lang po yung ating promotion of the day. Um, Wong, Apple, yeah. And so this is our promotion of the day. So it's until 8 p.m. po kasi. So please grab it if you haven't uh, purchased it yet. So it's free two bottles of APSA 80 250 ml for every nutri plant potassium or zinc. Yeah, and diba? good deal po siya for today. And also, next slide please. So we also have our month-long promotion. It's our, your last chance na po to grab also this one. It's until end of this uh, month po. So just uh, purchase 5,000 agri products, um, excluding po AG and SD, and you will be getting free NutriPlant SL. And also on top of this one po pala, uh, every availment po ninyo, you're also qualified to donate 100 pesos to our Amway CSR campaign. So you're also helping other people with your agriculture purchases. Next slide. Yeah, and so this is uh, just announced early this morning. So um, because of um, uh, of our current state po ng NutriPlant AG, so the, the Amway decided to um, promote our NutriPlant AG through backorder promotion. So this promo is limited only this September 29 to 30. So it's only uh, this coming month end. So if you will be buying uh, five bottles of NutriPlant AG, either 1 liter or 250 ml, and you will be getting free. So yung freebie nyo po is the same as your purchase. Um, what does back order um, means pala? Uh, it's actually availing. So here, we have indicated here, um, it's uh, advanced ordering or advanced order placing of unavailable stock. So again, um, currently, this item is not available, but since... Um, um, our EBOs really wanted to purchase this already, though, so they wanted to place orders in advance. So we are allowing it, are allowing it right now. Of course, offered with a promotion. So, um, but of, but of course, we wanted to reiterate that uh, the quantity offered is only until supplies last. So there's a limit on this one, and it's also not in conjunction with our existing promotions. Plus. Uh, the delivery of orders placed under the back order will be made only once the stock becomes available. So yun lang po, noted lang po. Uh, and lower portion of our um, poster, we've indicated there the, um, uh, the updated timeline po, estimate timeline of the availability in store. So, um, so, uh, so that's it for our promotion. So but last, of course, but not the least, we would like you to join or become part of our growing agri community in our Facebook group, The Planters PH. So, uh, currently, we're doing some um, seed to plate journey uh, to all those who have joined us. Uh, we would like to, to thank you, especially for, for those who are really engaged and posting their experience as a crop parent. So, yon. so we will be announcing soon po some of our um, winners po of the prizes that uh, we have in store for those who have joined this initiative. So that's it. I'm turning you over again to our host. And thank you once again and have a lovely evening. Thank you for that, Ms. Tess. Thank you, Ms. Tess. Okay, I know. Uh, excited na yung lahat, no? Yung mga, uh, ano, uh, uh, for our uh, poll. So ano ba yung mga premium natin, Paul? for tonight's uh, raffle. So again, uh, we have five winners for 200 uh, Gcash. And uh, also, Bong, we have five winners with 1,000 Amway coupon. So meron tayong uh, lucky 10 winners ng raffle yeah. natin. Siguro, okay. Paul, ano, uh, i-plash mo ulit yung, yung how to claim the price para maano nila. Okay, Ma sure. Makuha nung ano. But uh, at least my idea sila on how, how to claim their price. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Pwede na pong i-screenshot ito para nagsaganon. Pag nanalo po kayo, ayan. Uh, meron so, po kayong ano. Sige, sige, Paul, go. 
paano po mag-claim ng prize if uh, napili po or na uh, nanalo po kayo sa raffle natin. So, email nyo lang po sa Amway Events Team at Amway.com. Uh, ano po yung subject? Agri Kapihan Q3 Winner. So, screenshot of your name as a winner. Tapos, yung full name, complete address, and contact number. So, for non-cash naman, indicate po for shipping or for pickup. So, madali lang. Sobrang dali. Okay? So, I think, Bong, we can proceed with the raffle. So, let me just uh, share yeah. our magic... Uh, ano to? Uh, magic roulette. <laughs> Who will be the lucky tonight? Na mananado no ating chikas. Okay. So don't forget to screenshot. Okay. So for this uh, raffle, uh, mananalo po sila ng 200 Gcash reward. Okay. Wow. So 200. First winner. Ayan. All right. Congratulations Ayan. to Kyla G. Kyla G. Yeah. Ayan. Ikaw yung unang winner ng 200 G cash. Yeah. So Kyla G, ano, don't forget ano, na screenshot dito and then uh, padala mo sa Amway's uh, event training. Ayan. All right. So Ah, sorry, sorry. Meron ano rito, that is employee daw yun, paki-wave na lang from Han ah, okay. Pantay, okay? Sorry, so, sorry. Sorry, sorry Kyla. <laughs> wave, ah, wave. Yeah. <laughs> Ayan. Mark Crystal. Yeah. So, sir, Mark Crystal. Employee ba to bong or... That, 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 that is an AVO. AVO yan. AVO yan. yan. So, sure, congratulations. Mark. Okay. So, yun yung first. Uh, for our second winner ng 200 Gcash reward. Ang pangalawang nanalo. Maswerte. Si Miss Noemi Magdalene Odan. Yan. Ma'am Noemi. Yan. Congratulations. Alright. So, pangalawang winner. And uh, for our third winner, ng Gcash pa din, no? Yeah, Gcash. Ayan. Congratulations to Mark Ray Dangaran. So, congratulations, Sir Mark Ray Dangaran. Ito pang apat bong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayan. For our fourth winner, si Ma'am Mary Sol. Congratulations. And uh, for our last winner ng GCash. I see. Again, again, again. Si Mr. Harry Pananalo. <laughs> Yan, last winner. Yan. Again. Oh, again, again. <laughs> Swerte ng mga empleyado, di ba? Swerte nga, pero hindi naman sila pwede manalo. <laughs> Yan. <laughs> Ayan, so congratulations to our last uh, winner ng Gcash, Josephine Abela. Avila. Alright. Again. Okay, so for this uh, raffle, uh, you can win 1,000 Amway uh, voucher, product voucher. So wow. our first 1,000 worth of Amway products. Any Amway products ba yan, Paul? Yeah. Okay. Baka kasi mamaya, ano lang eh. Baka congratulations to Ma'am Siti Marian Calanda. Wow, Magandang congratulations Ma'am uh, Siti. Uh, Site Marian Calanda. Alright, so first winner yon For our second winner ng 1000 Amway voucher. Ayan. Uh, 
Ayan. Congratulations to Ma'am Annabel Matias. Wow! Ma'am Annabel, congratulations. Nanalo ka ng 1,000 worth okay. of Amway products. For our third winner. Oh, swerte. Mag-asawa pa. Sir Rolando Calanda. Wow. This is niya yung kanina po. Congratulations, Sir Rolando. Meron na kayong 2,000 worth. Ayan. <laughs> Kasi 1,000 kay Ma'am uh, Ma Sight and then 1,000 kay Sir Roland. Pang-apat na tubong. Yeah. For our fourth uh, winner. Yeah. Congratulations to Michelle Tangare. Tangeres. Congratulations, ma'am Michelle Tangeres. And for our last winner ng 1,000 Amway product voucher. <laughs> May mga nag-chat-chat po. Wala daw yung name nila sa ruleta. <laughs> Marilyn Sobil, Sombilon. Yeah, Marilyn Sombilon. Sa lahat po Marilyn. ng mga participants, uh, uh, kinuha ko namin lahat yung participants na nilagay ko namin lahat yung name nyo. registration. Okay. Yeah, nag nagkataon lang na talaga hindi na bunot yung name nyo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so congratulations po sa mga nanalo and all the winners. No? So don't forget to send your screenshot sa Amway Events team para po maklaim yung prize. Okay, so again, congratulations to all winners. Uh, I think, uh, tawag nito, wag ho nating uh, kalimutan ha, sinabi ni Paul na ilagay ho natin doon sa ano, yung screenshot. Yep. Ayan. So, again, uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you all participants, all growers, and all winners. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Harry. And next time, we'll yeah, next time we'll meet soon. And yeah. is there if there is any specific queries, if any specific question related to any crop or situation, you can write to us and we will give you customized solution, maybe in the group or in a personal. So please feel free to reach out to us for any support related to our product or related to any crop nutrient deficiency. I'll, we will be happy to help. And we again, thank you for all of the, the growers, ABOs to find time joining this call. And we're excited to see you again with a different topic. And thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mike joining us from US. Thank you. Thank you once again. Welcome. Thank you, Sir Harry. And thank you, Dr. Mike. You know. so, See you again on December. Yeah. <laughs> for so our last you, leg of, uh, for this year. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. I hope uh, you learned and enjoy a lot on our agri Kapihan tonight. So again, this is Apple Joe Pacomio, Senior Training Specialist of Amoy Philippines. And this is Romeo Camarillo, Senior Training Specialist of Amoy Philippines, saying uh, good night and stay safe, everyone. Good night. Thank you very much, Dr. Mike and Sir Harry. Thank you. Thank you.